part of C's I think clicked for me because, you know, it, it was always starting on the server. You know, static generation to me was like an optimization of like, well, okay, well, I'll just perform that first request on the server and cache it and write it out. So like it always kind of clicked. I think a lot of React developers came in at the single page app time. And yeah, where it was all, I mean, I'm, I'm working on an app today. That's like, I think the code base goes back six plus years um, with like React Router 3. And so whenever we see that, do you think that that client first sort of experience history or mentality is a reason why there was like a knee jerk reaction to, you know, await DB SQL call or something like, why are you doing a SQL call in my code? I can't remember how long ago this happened, but like, the fact that a React component could access the database within the component seemed to like spark some FUD. Do you think it was, it was that kind of like client first mentality that that allowed that sort of mentality to take place? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's definitely, I mean, part of it is like, sure, like he's an ad, SQL inside a component on a conference slide. Like, yeah, you, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna make some people mad. That's just, uh, you know, it, it is kind yeah. of a troll move a little bit. You got but the point across, That right? is like, <laughs> Right, yeah. but I think like sometimes it 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 feels like maybe it gets the wrong point across mm. because people have an expectation when they see React code that it executes on the client, and so if you see React code during like a SQL query, you kind of think of like is it calling SQL from a client? A lot of people, for example, like one of the misconceptions about RSC is that people think that it mixes client side and server side code in the same file. So that actually never happens. That's that's like something we don't allow specifically because it's very hard to understand. Uh, like that's something that current solutions do sometimes, like next pages router uh, mixes server and client code in the same file. Remix mixes server client, uh, client code. The current version of Remix does that. Uh, but like in the future, you know, with like eventual, uh, hopefully like adopting RSC, we'd like to move where we never, we never do that. So like in the RSC model, we, we never mix server and client code in the same file. Um, but I think, yeah, the, the knee-jerk reaction is partially just because you, when you see something shaped like a React component, you think that it's something that has to execute on the client. But I think it's kind of like, uh, you know, like in, in the Matrix movie uh, where like Neo realizes that actually like the world is not real, it's created from another world. I think that's kind of like a similar, you know, if you're like client-centric, like you write a component, but like, what do you think sent this component to 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 the browser? Like there was a piece of code that did that, uh, where whether it's like a static file server or um, like an actual server that like emitted the script tag. Like there was some code that's responsible for your component getting there. So what if you had full control over that code? And what if you had a component model for for that code as well, so that you could write components that kind of span both worlds and that are able to, you know, pass data and then you can reuse them. 